John, is a businessman, he owns a marketing company. When he sees the people working with him, the first thing he does is smiling. Rule number one, make a good first impression by smiling. This is important, as it shows that you like the person. Then, John saw a new employee and he told him. Your name is Robert, isn't it? Robert smiled, I'm glad you remember my name sir. Then John started asking him about his life, interests, what he like about the job, and what he don't like. And while Robert answered John's questions, John was listening carefully to every single word Robert was saying. John noticed that Robert likes football, so he asked him. Did you see the last game? And the conversation continued for about 15 minutes. Remember the person's name. The person's name, is to that person, the sweetest, and most important sound in any language. Addressing the people we talk to by their names, creates more meaning to our message to them. And it makes them feel important. Become genuinely interested in other people. Everyone loves to talk about themselves, so give others the chance to talk and express themselves. And be a good listener, don't be distracted or check your phone when they talk, listen carefully to them. And after they finish talking, start talking about their interests, and let them talk more. That will make them interested in you too. Then John and his team had a meeting. And in this meeting the graphic designer Mark, showed John the latest designs he made. John didn't really like Mark's work, but he didn't criticize him. Instead, he said to Mark, your old work was great. I really appreciate all the work you do. You are an amazing designer. Then John started talking about his own mistakes, when he started working long time ago. And showed Mark that it's okay to make mistakes then told him that his idea was amazing, and asked him, can you make some edit in this design, and show me when you're done? Don't criticize or complain. Nobody wants to see or hear that their work being criticized or rejected. There are ways to inform people about your complaints, without making them feel low, or incapacitated. Begin with praise and honest appreciation. Starting the day with praises and compliments of their work, always put people in a better mood. Once praised, the tendency of people to work professionally and efficiently increases. Talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. Hearing that they are not the only ones who make mistakes, often makes them feel better. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Then. John had another meeting with his partner Justin, and they had an argument about something. You know what John did? He avoided the argument and respected Justin's opinion, and admitted that he was wrong. Life would be simpler if we don't complicate things so much. Avoiding arguments, accepting each other, and admitting that we're wrong, saves you the hazard of making damages to your relationships with other people. And these are the most important rules, to win friends and influence people. And there are much more in this book. Imagine yourself applying all of these rules in your relationships, what results would you get? Sure you'll be more successful as a leader or an employee, as a husband or as a dad, and as a friend. Waiting for your comments. Subscribe and wait for the next summary.